So we have a piecewise function right here, and they want to know which of the following functions represents this piecewise function. So instead of looking at the multiple choice options, what I recommend is look at the graph and write your y equals mx plus b equations for each of them. Okay, so on your final exam, uh, look at your graphs and think about where this where this red line would go. Well, it has the slope of up one over two. If I go up one over two, it'll end up right there. I'm going to use a, a highlighter, okay? So this is where it would go, and it would continue to go this way, right? But what would that equation actually be? That equation would actually be y equals the slope up one over two x plus four because it would cross the y-axis. It would cross the y-axis if it would extend all the way that way, okay? Now let's look at this uh, next one that has an open dot here and an open dot over here. That's a totally flat line, a totally flat line that crosses the y-axis at two. So this equation would be y equals two. And last but not least, uh, we have this other line, which I'm gonna do in green, I guess. And if you look at the, the slope pattern right there, it goes down two over one, but backwards over one, up two, over one, up two, I'd end up right here. So I'm gonna extend that with a green highlighter. So if the line actually extended all the way to the Y axis, you would see that it crosses at one. So the B value is one. So for this uh, last line, I have Y, equals down two over one. You could just leave it as negative two uh, with an X and then crosses the Y axis at one. So we have our three equations right there. And we know that a piecewise function, um, they're gonna write it as F of X equals, and they're gonna set up this bracket situation like that. And they're gonna begin with the first line from left to right, which would be the red one. And this, is saying y equals one half x plus four. This is like saying y equals, all you have to do is put the one half x plus four right there in red, one half x plus four. Now, of course, we also need a condition. Now, what do I mean by the condition? Uh, the condition is talking about x values. So if your x's are what? Well, here's your x values. Where does this red line begin to exist? It begins to exist at negative two and it is going to the left. It really doesn't exist over here. I extended it with the highlighter, but it really starts here and it goes to the left, which is saying that it starts at the X value of negative two, and it actually does start there because it's a solid dot. So it's a solid dot at negative two and it goes to the left. So X is less than or equal to negative two. X is less than or equal to negative two. I hope that makes sense. Moving on to the uh, blue equation, uh, y equals 2, it's between here and here. So I have my y equals, all I need is a blue 2 right there, a 2 in the middle. And the condition for that one will be if, and you're going to put that the blue line is between this x value and that x value, and it has open dots, so it's not going to be or equal to. So where are those x values at? And that is right, Javier, between negative 2 and positive one. See the x value of negative two and the x value of positive one? So let's put that. We're gonna put the negative two on this side, the positive one on that side, the x in the middle, and always less than symbols when you do uh, compound inequalities. And for the last one, the, the green one, it says y equals negative two over one x plus one. I'm just gonna write y equals negative two x plus one. You don't need the over one. So when I write y equals negative 2x plus 1, here it is, y equals, and I'm going to write negative 2x plus 1. And of course, with the condition if, if what, where does this uh, last line start at, at what x value? It doesn't start at 0. It starts right here at 1, and it goes to the right forever. So it's a solid dot at 1, so x is greater than or equal to 1. Greater than because existing to the right. So if x is greater than or equal to 1. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do this type of problem. It, it, it is uh, kind of time consuming. Whoa, I messed that up, didn't I?
and we'll stop this video right here.